Bill Pierce. At a very young age, you were fortunate to work with people like Art Blakey, Stevie Wonder, and Tony Williams. What did you learn from Art Blakey that shaped your way of playing and composing? Well, true professionalism, number one. I mean, on the highest level, uh, you had to deliver and you had to interpret. Well, you had to deliver from your own perspective. You had to interpret the music uh, and represent, actually you had to represent history in a certain way because of the history of the band. It was just, you know, trial by fire, as some people call it. You know, you had to be there. And Art Blake was a pretty dynamic guy and he played very dynamically. Well, it was said that you had to know about 150 standards. That's not, to... that's not exactly an absolute, but you, it was expected that you knew pretty much the lexicon of, the, of jazz as it relates to originals and popular music. Do you think that interest in jazz is decreasing? I'm not totally certain about that. I think it may be to a certain degree because the people who were the bigger jazz fans were old, are now older people like myself and you know other people, <laughs> and uh, and maybe the 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 proportionally young people aren't as interested as they might have been at one time. But I think it's still a pretty good audience out there. A lot of it comes from the universities and the colleges and even the music schools. A lot of people go into music, they do other things, but they're still fans of music and a lot of times they pass it on to their kids. So I can't, it's hard for me to say that it's not like a popular music that's very uh, uh, current or not even current, but it, um, not as it exposed, it's not in the public eye. But if you look at old TV shows, right. the background music was either jazz or jazz-like. Now it's all screaming guitars. So it's kind of perceptual, but it's also that a lot of, I think, a lot of people in positions of authority in terms of just the incidental music that people hear is becoming pretty one-dimensional. And maybe that adds to this perception of jazz not being as popular. Can I ask you if you have children? I have three children. Would you encourage them to take up music? If they wanted to, yes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't diminish or their, their hopes for that, but none of them have, have ever, ever done that. They, they, uh, they are all pretty smart. One was pretty talented, but uh, I always encourage them to be involved with the music of their generation as well. Right. So I didn't say, well, don't listen to what necessarily what I like. <laughs> I mean, here I'll expose you to it, but you should find music that appeals to you and what speaks to you. And if jazz was it, my, I think my kids like classical and jazz probably more than a lot of people because they were exposed to it, right. but they like other stuff. But they have a discerning ear. They don't like stuff just because it's popular. When they hear popular music that's kind of just junk, they dismiss it, they don't want to hear it. I mean, it's clear that father is the big influence also in, for their eyes. To some degree, but I encourage them not, not, you know, not to be me or not to think like me, because I don't think that's possible anyway. But, I, I, but by me telling them and explaining to them about how all the different musics work, they kind of, I hope, develop a taste, a discerning taste. What do you think about our jazz that is being played here. Just here right now? Yeah, right. I think it's a continuation of the jazz that I always knew and thought and played. So I think it's, it's still a continuation of everything that I know. Interestingly enough, this particular concert is involved with musics from maybe all of the different continents, maybe not Asia, but to a certain degree Asia too. Uh, so that's interesting, but that's been going on in jazz forever. I mean, Duke right. Ellington had the Far East Suite back in the 50s. So uh, I think it's still the same music in spirit as it's always been, but with the influences that people have. And the fact that we're doing Balkan music and Irish or Celtic music, it's kind of interesting because I don't do that too much. And it's kind of neat to hear it in this configuration. It's kind of kind of cool. Thank you for having taken the time to talk to us. Okay. I hope you continue your career. Oh, I plan to. Oh, and I hope to see you again here. Well, thank you so much.